Sonoma Valley is an incredible place to visit during the winter time. It's just got extra special lighting, it's a romantic place, everything's sort of dormant. It's got a lot of agriculture happening at this time, believe it or not. After the grape harvest comes the olive harvest. So that's what we're celebrating right now during the winter season. We're at the historical mission in downtown Sonoma. It's a very short drive north of San Francisco, just about 45 minutes. The blessing of the olives is the kickoff to olive season, the three month long festival that we have here in the valley. We bless you for the weather given to us for our work. Bless the beginning of the olive festival this day. We take our harvest and bless it for the season. It's a very sweet, simple ceremony. Not only do we bless olives, we celebrate uh, the mission heritage, we have incredible music, and lots of fun for everybody throughout the day. And celebrate just the bounty of the agriculture that we have here in the valley. Because of the mission being here, it was a center for the start of agriculture and grapes and olives. This whole area that I live in is almost identical to the way it looked when I drove in here in 74 and bought this property. During this time of year, during the winter time, we're celebrating the season of the olive. There's lots of festivals and activities. There's something for everyone. The Olive Trail is really what you want to make it. It's just a path of fun. We just celebrate the season with martini madness, spa days with olive body rubs, uh, olive oil making. You can watch us make extra virgin olive oil. The Sonoma Valley is great. I mean, it's so diverse. You know, we produce cheeses. You know, Vela's been here forever making great Sonoma Dry Jack art festivals, there's incredible hiking trails. The Olive Odyssey is coming up, which is be a great, great fun. We've got uh, the Jack London State Park, you know, which is a great place to hike up in the Sonoma Mountain and look at the old, uh, you know, Wolf House, Jack London's old house. Going to see the olive demonstrations, the olive tapenades, the olive oils, the tasting experiences. There's all kinds of beautiful things to see in Sonoma if you really get into it. Great wines and great food. What more do you need?